Hello guys, welcome to TMXing Adventures, Lisa here. Hey look, today I'm getting ready to make some lunch. I'm running a little late, doesn't that sound familiar lately? Um, but I thought I'd jump online and answer some of your questions around cookie do and the changes that are coming up on the 28th of July. So first of all, I'm going to get this tomato sauce cooking because this is the base of lunch. It's actually going to transform our beautiful smoked brisket from last night's dinner, the leftovers from that into a beautiful uh, mincy kind of thing for our nachos for lunch. So I'm using this tomato sauce off cookie do. I literally just typed in tomato sauce, came up great star rating let's do it so i love that about cookie dough first things first is it's got 120 grams of onions so brown onion it's going to get cooked off if you didn't have brown but you had um pink on hand purple on hand use what you've got yeah if you had leeks on hand use the green of the leeks by the way say hi if you're watching on today as well uh it means that these show up in your news feed, which is cool. All right, one garlic clove, or in my case, I am using the chopped stuff at the moment. We like garlic, so I don't mind being a bit generous there. Okay, some oil. You could use butter if you prefer. You could use ghee. Um, I do have oil at the moment, but I need it to go on sale. It's a bit expensive at the moment, which I'm not loving. Um, I have been using the drippings off our meat often as well, but if the oil's in front of me, I'll use it now. On with our lid and our measuring cup. Five seconds chop. I love chopping. This never gets old. You've seen me excited about this before. Five seconds to be five, which is plenty of time. Five seconds is actually a long time for a chop. Feels like forever, two seconds probably would have been enough, but guided cooking tells us what to do and I'm happy to just be told what to do some days. All right, place the simmering basket on top. This is a safety feature when we're over 90 degrees, we put the simmering basket on top and we're gonna cook that for seven minutes and then let's talk cookie do. So you've probably heard, or if you've not, I'm about to tell you that cookie do's subscription price is going up on the 29th of July. Okay, now that is for those who have not got a subscription already. Okay, I'll say that again. If you've got a subscription already, you've put in your payment details, you're on an auto renew, you'll say on what you're on. Okay, so big sigh of relief. Who this is relevant for, and I guess who I'd like to uh, ask to check their subscription, are those of you who are new to your Thermomix. So maybe you've just got a TM6, maybe you upgraded from a 5 or a 31, you're in your trial period. You may not have set up your payment details when you went through on the screen. So you know when you got your TM6, and this is really relevant for those who are in the new version where we had to scan a QR code on the screen. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you've got cookie do, you've had it forever, you don't need to worry. Okay, yours is already locked in. Okay, some of you are on a TM5 pricing from years ago and you don't have all the bells and whistles and you're still on, was it $49 or something? Like, and that was before TM6, you don't have all those features, you can't add your own recipes. It's a, it was 2.0 version, okay? Then we got point three three point oh, and 3.0 gives you the ability to add your own recipes in, okay, and there's more bells and whistles to it. And this is the one that we're talking about. Most of you are on $69. You are locked in at $69. It's on an auto renewal. It'll stay. How cool is that? I actually really like that. There is so few subscription services these days that actually stay at the price you signed up on. I don't know how many of you guys have, like, Disney, Netflix. For me, I've got a Zoom subscription. I've got a Canva subscription for the business. Like, we have these things and they don't stay <laughs> one price. They go up. And the thing is, if you've locked in 69, at this point in time, it will remain. And I can't speak of the future. I don't know what will we have or cookie do have in store for the future. But at this point in time, it's still 69 for you. And it really is only applicable to those of you in your six months trial who haven't put payment details in for an auto renew. Okay, now if this is you and you're going in through that process later and you're like, I feel like it's gonna charge me, get in touch, I'll help you step through it. I know when I put in my payment details a couple of nights ago, I felt like I was gonna get charged too. 
but I didn't because mine doesn't expire till Christmas next year, okay? So it said, we're gonna charge you $69, pay now, and I clicked pay now, and it actually didn't pay me, it didn't charge me anything, and it says expires December 25, okay? So if you feel like, oh my gosh, if you're in trial, six months trial, go in, put your payment details in, follow the prompts, you can pay by, I think it's card or PayPal, follow the prompts through, and it'll just save them. So when you're at the end of your six months, you'll get charged $69 and then it'll all just happen automatically, okay? So this is just important for those of you who are in trial. Um, and I guess any consultants who are watching on as well, if you are in our consultant uh, bonus that we get, so every December, November, if we're active in our business, we get the next 12 months, we get a code ahead, which is a trial 12 months really, in essence. If you've always been on that, like I have, you need to enter your details in because that will lock you at $69. If you don't, whenever at some point in time you need to pay, it'll lock you at whatever pricing might be in three or four years' time. Okay, so I hope that answers your questions. However, if I've opened a can of worms and you have more questions, please reach out. Okay, um, you know, I think all they're doing is aligning. There's not, like they're aligning with the times. There's not many products and services these days that you can get for the new pricing of $89, $90 a year, okay? <laughs> Most things like your Disney and your things like that, we're talking somewhere between $12 and $20 a month. Like, it's the big amounts of money. But, um, you know, so for those who don't have those services, it does feel like it's a big increase from $69 to $89. I get that. I don't run a lot of those other types of things, like streaming things and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I really do feel we've been rather spoiled for a little while from amazing uh, Volvec and Cookie Do at the pricing. We've had it because even the meal planning services and the online recipe community services, not recipe community like our Thermomix ones, but things that you can go to and save recipes and all that sort of stuff, you know, this is really quite reasonable for what we get, in my opinion. Okay, I'm happy to chat further if uh, if you uh, want more details or maybe you're trying to get in and lock in your price and you're, you're not sure what to do, okay? Happy to answer questions, happy for you to reach out um, and talk further about this. But Cookie Do, it is a game changer. It means that we save money at the checkout. It means we can be more organised. It means when we are not organised, we don't need to rely on fast food or convenience food, but we can actually search for what's in the bottom crisper that needs using and use that up. So I think somebody recently told me, I shouldn't do maths online, it's a terrible idea, but I thought they told me her month it worked out to... No, I'm not going to do maths online. <laughs> it's a terrible idea, Lisa. Whatever 90 divided by 12 is. Um, but, you know, I would say that we would save more than that on our groceries, having the accessibility to cookie do. okay? So being able to make our own breads, uh, be able to make our own pizza on pizza night, like that saves us 40 bucks, like there's six of us, right? So for us to go and buy pizzas out, we would be looking at easily getting up to $60, 70 $80 to feed us, okay? To be able to make it ourselves, less than $10 with change, I would say, you know, and to put our own toppings on and things like that. So there are some cost savings that the Thermomix brings uh, once you've got one on the bench. And uh, I'm really grateful for that. I'm really grateful for Cookie Do because I certainly use my TM6 significantly more than I ever did my TM31 because of the ease of cooking. They both cook very similar. They both have the same concept of cooking, but it's the ease of use. It's the ease that my eight-year-old can do it. He's cooking apple fritters for morning tea today. You know, so that's the beauty of cookie do, in my opinion, okay? So three seconds to go. Let's make this tomato sauce, and then I'll tell you how I'm gonna finish this recipe because it's got a 20-minute cook coming up now after this. So that's beautiful cooked off. Um, I could have hacked in high heat to this. I didn't. I'm on autopilot today. I didn't sleep well last night. Uh, it's been a busy few days, so I'm kind of just on like, just get things done. That's why it's uh, quarter to one and I'm getting lunch ready now. Plus it is the eight year old's day to cook. He just hasn't turned up. So tomato, I did grab the tomato. We freeze our leftover. So I buy tomato in tins, they're massive tins, they're two and a half kilos. And as soon as it's open and the first serving is used out of it, 
we freeze it. It does mean that I need to put it in a sink of hot water when I want to use it, but it means it doesn't go off, yeah? That's the trade-off. So there's one in, so you can see it's still in a slightly glad bag square. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'll have more than this in here. I'm not too worried if I do. I don't know if I can get half of it out. Oh, there we go, it did break off. Excellent, that's pretty close. Now this recipe is also stunning. I did this recipe for you guys when we were traveling in the caravan. I remember doing it on the side of the road somewhere, which is why it sticks out. This is a beautiful recipe to also put your pasta in later. So it can be a one pot pasta meal, where you just put a bit of extra water in, bring it to the boil, and then add your pasta in and it cooks in there as a tomato based sauce as well. Um, let me know if you want that recipe and I will dig it out of the, the vault somewhere. So one teaspoon of sugar. You guys know I have like 500 and something recipes over on YouTube as well these days. Um, salt, when you see salt, you think stock, okay? So I'm gonna put in half a tablespoon of stock. So in that goes, that was quite a solid scoop. All right, I hope you're making your veggie stock still, okay? If you're not, this is another cost saver. Like to use this instead of buying like the, the carton or the little cubes full of numbers and colors and things, like you know what's in it. So if you, you stop making stock, make it again. Just make veggie stock, it lasts forever okay it doesn't say that it says it lasts for a month maybe on the thing but mine lasts until it starts growing a life on top of its own you know that white fluffy stuff <laughs> that's what i know mine's gone and i actually don't think i've had one do that in a very long time it's saying eight basil leaves i left them over next to the sink i brought them in so i'll put that in later i'll put the simmering basket back on top and then next 20 minutes, turn speed to speed two, and it's gonna cook at 100 degrees. Now what's gonna happen at the end of these 20 minutes is it is gonna slightly cook down, so it's gonna taste more concentrated. I'm then going to take my meat, which is in chunks, predominantly. It's beautiful brisket, oh, flip some. Uh, it pretty much was nearly pull apart anyway, cooked all day yesterday in the, the smoker. Um, and I'm gonna put it in the sauce, and I'm gonna put it on reverse speed four, probably for only four seconds. Um, that's my usual shred speed. However, if I put a clause on this, if my sauce is piping hot 100 degrees, which it's highly likely to be, then when I go to shred it, the speed will go up really slowly to speed four. Okay, now if yours is doing that, it's gonna take longer than four seconds because it's counting down as it's going up before. So you may find you need a couple more reverse speed four seconds, another two or three seconds to get it to the texture you want. Keep a close eye on it. You don't want a paste. Uh, it's just not the same. It's like the pulled meat with beautiful tomato sauce. If you want this creamy, add yourself some coconut cream or some cream on top of it, like normal dairy cream, okay? And then just give it a stir through. Um, as I said, if you want me to dig out of the old videos, the one where I turn this into just a tomato pasta, let me know. I'll find that one for you, which tells you how much water to then add in how much pasta. Um, and I'll, and I can certainly show you how to do that as well. It turns into one pot pasta. How cool is that? It's like you literally in about, and actually this step is shortened. You actually pull this down to uh, getting it to the boil and then you put it on to cook for your pasta. So. Yeah, if you want that recipe, let me know. And as I said, if you've got questions about what you do, do reach out, okay? Don't, I don't want you to be scared or feel like you're on your own with it. Um, yeah, I think it's fairly self-explanatory, but if you do need a hint, that's what I'm here for. So just send me a message. I'd uh, love to hear from you. But otherwise, I hope you're loving your family mix. I hope you're getting the most out of it. If you need support with it, we'd like a demonstration. Jump online. I should also make mention those of you who are overseas. I know there's a lot of you who are watching on the replay on overseas. Your cookie do may be a different pricing to ours. I don't know. <laughs> so if it sounds different, it's because we're in different countries, okay? But, and you may have different dates on things as well. I don't know if this is globally. I don't know if it's in Australia only. I don't know if it's a different rollout time because I know in the past they have rolled different components out at different stages. I don't get privy to that information. Uh, all I can do is help you get the most out of it and share my experience on why it's, I enjoy it and why it's of value to me. 
If you do want it discounted, by the way, we can have a demo. Having a demo for those of you in Australia, uh, you and two friends online, you can cook or you can just watch on. It brings it down to $25 for like a 12 month membership. They give you 12 months to add on to whatever you currently got for $25. Um, or if you're thinking about consultancy, I talked the other day, I'm, I'd love to have two people uh, that would love to mentor this next month ahead. So this is something for you, then November, December, we get, if we're active in our business, we get a code for the next 12 months ahead, I've, you know, so if it's something where you're like, oh, I don't know about paying for it, I don't know if I'm seeing value, you're either going to, you know, you either see value, you don't, or you've got questions, and if you've got questions, I do want to hear from you, so please do reach out, I'd love to answer any questions you've got, but otherwise, have a fantastic day, I love coming to you guys and inspiring you. Uh, with your Thermomix. If you think someone around you needs to see these videos, maybe they've got a Thermomix or another Thermo Cooker or TM31 or something like that or TM5, share these videos. Um, I'd love to know that they're getting more out of their Thermomix. That's what it's all about. All right. But otherwise, I will put a photo up of the final product later. Um, keep an eye out for that. Those of you watching on YouTube, make sure you've subscribed to keep up to date with latest videos that are coming up. Um, but I'll take care and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye for now.